you're watching Gumbo Live, it's LC Green. We're not at the Bread House today, but we had another beautiful facility. The last time we had Ms. Sherry on, she talked to us about the Green House. The Green House is completed, and we are in here, and I tell you, if you've never been here, you ought to come. Right next to the walking trail in downtown New Fall. You ought to come in here and, and just see some of this side of this thing operates. And Ms. Sherry, gonna, she, she's going to take us through this. Uh, uh, she was telling me some amazing things about this place. And uh, the flowers, now you told me, uh, first of all, thank you for, for being on the well, show. Well, thanks for having me again. And welcome, welcome. I want to say this here, our show that we did earlier, I got more response from that show than any show that we did. And uh, I think that's a great testimony to the book of us. Uh, if the glasses are bothering anybody, uh, my eyes are very sensitive. And it is a little sunny out here. It's a beautiful day in downtown New Fallen, but I got to have my. But listen, now, let's, let's start off by, you told me, because everybody worry about their money. They worry about their money. They worry about their money. How is this paid for? This was paid for through a grant through the Alabama Department of Economic Development. We actually got $40,000 to do an outdoor classroom, which we haven't completed yet, and a teaching greenhouse. And this took up about $27,000 of that. So it's paid for through a grant. Now you had to apply for the grant. Yes, we had so to apply for the grant. you had to know what to say and how to do it. Yes. And so, so we can thank you and your department for uh, getting the grant. We got a beautiful greenhouse here, and it didn't really cost us a thing. It didn't cost us anything, and another good thing is the land that this is sitting on is paid for through grant money also. Okay. Now you said something about a classroom. Yes. Uh, yeah, tell us, tell us two things. Tell us. Uh, when you say class, what kind of classroom, and where would the classroom be? Well, That's part of the same grant. That's part of the same class. It, it's going to consist of trees and. Uh, tables and benches outside and uh, would it be a beautiful field trip for kids to learn about different types of trees, how to plant flowers, maybe some vegetable and fruit classes, um, get Native American history, I mean. Okay, now let me ask you this, you, you talk about trees. Do we have in our city a variety of type of trees or you have to plant specific type of trees for the classroom? No, what we would probably do is uh, take a hike down this trail and there are so many different varieties of native trees. And what we hope to do next is get maybe a Boy Scout that's working on his Eagle Scout mm -hmm. to go and identify all the different trees and, and scientific name, common name, and maybe perhaps say, because the trail is named after an Indian, um, keep um, what the Native Americans use the trees for. Mm -hmm. so, add all kinds of education, natural educational things. Just imagine this, this is a little off the subject. But it was either last year, year before last, the bird watchers came here from everywhere. You remember that? We're uh, part of the wire and grass birding trail. Okay, so they still come? They still come. Okay, I know I know. it was one Saturday, they had a big old thing out here, a bunch of bird watchers out here. That's we did, that was the opening of the wire and grass birding trail, but we have uh, bird watchers coming all the time because we have so many different birds here. No, no, no. We have a bald eagle's nest on the trail. Oh, really? Yeah. That, that was my question is that, Bird watchers normally go with that, that different variety of birds. And we, we have them. Since the trail goes along the lake, we've also got the osprey and all the waterfowl, too. Oh, okay. I, 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 I intend to do that trail one day. Me and Mark are going to do that well, trail. Well, you really one. need to. But then we're going to get cooler. Mark don't like to eat. I mean, we can get a golf cart. I've, oh, yeah. I've got a golf cart. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do anything you want to do it, <laughs> you bring that golf cart, we're going to do it. So let's talk about this place. Let's talk about okay. this place. This place. Uh, uh, it's marvelous. You told me something. You said this is a state of art. Yes, it's a state of art. So we got we got a first class greenhouse right here in the city of New Yes, we do. This okay. Now let's start off by this. Let's start off by this. When I walk in a greenhouse, I think I'm have to keep ducking and dodging. I don't want to get wet. These flowers are being watered as we speak. Yes, they are. And uh, See that one came off right now. once you move, you didn't get wet. It's a fine mist system, and it keeps the soil wet. Um, also attached to the irrigation system, and it's all on timers. We want to turn it on. Uh, is what they call a dosomatic, which is uh, it gives so many parts per million of fertilizer 
or release it so much, many parts per million fertilizer to the watering system. Yeah, and that, that, that's water. one of the things that I was really, really amazed with. The same watering system is used to fertilize. Yes. And each state, what well, we got? One, two, three, five, eight, we got we have six, six tables right now. We got six tables in here as I stand looking around. And each table has its own watering system and fertilizing system. Each table has its own. And everything in here, correct me if I'm wrong, is operated on the time system. So nobody has to come out here to turn nothing on off. Nobody has to turn anything on or off. We always do come in here and check, make sure you don't have any insects, but this thing is so sealed, we don't plan on having any diseases or insects in here. Okay. Not like our old greenhouse that we've had to repair. But uh, yeah, we come in and check on our flowers. Um, but, but nobody has to do anything. No, okay. Okay. There's a thermostat in here at a certain temperature, fans turn on. Yeah, that's what I've been talking to you about. Uh, the cooling system turns on. Uh -huh. And then these fans turn on to pull that cool air through. In the winter, the heater turns on, and these fans turn on, so it's pulling the heat so, 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 so. These fans are all for it now because it's not No, it, it's not cold enough. That's a heater. Once yeah. the, the heater needs to come off, these fans okay, these come fans off. These fans simply operate when the heater comes off. They'll pull the heat. heat come this way. Just like those fans pull the cool air. Okay, way. all right, all right. Now, now, wait, now, how often you said you said something that really got me interested. How often do you have to come and actually check for bugs? I usually come down here and just check on the plants every day because because we check on the growth, okay? These, these have been in here with growth and plugs about this big. Mm -hmm. And we plug them into these flats. And we usually come in here because these back here will be going into the ground this week. They're ready. And uh, you check the root systems. And you can see uh, these root systems, these are about ready to go in the ground too. Okay, now where? And where? where, where, where now, now you, you're telling me you simply grow these here to put them somewhere out through the city? These are all going in the city. They're going in the flower boxes downtown and in the sidewalk beds. Downtown? Yes. So you already got a designated place yes. for them. Let, let me ask you this here. This, 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 this is something that uh, uh, I'm, I'm always trying to look up, look up ways for the city to make money. There's a lady that comes from, I think, over like mm -hmm. maybe once or twice a week. There's this big trail, flowers and stuff. Right. Like. Matter of fact, I bought a flower. I don't know what kind it was, but it was purple. So as long as it was purple, I bought it. I like purple. Too. Okay, and, and, and uh, for different reasons. Okay, I'm in fact, that's the original yeah, I, I, purple way. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. But anyway, this is my question, Michelle. Can we can we use this greenhouse to grow flowers that we might be able to sell that the city might make make money off of? Is that possible? Well, the horticulture department cannot sell and make any money, but. There's an organization, a nonprofit organization, we follow Pride. And uh, the main thing they do is help the beautify the city. And on occasion, they will purchase a bunch of plugs and plug them, and we have them to use greenhouse space. And then they will have a plant sale, and then their money goes back into the beautification of the city. So that, that's one way that we can do it. Okay, now let, let, let's, let, let's, let's, let's explain this. Because there may be some more folks out there like me who think this is a way to make some money for the city. Mm -hmm. And then we have a tax money for that. So this is what you said. Your department cannot sell anything that you grow in here. Right. Cannot do it. But there's an organization that has the same idea that I have. And, it's, and all the money goes back to the city. Okay, all right. And, That's and the, the only thing they can spend the money on. City. And what's the name of the organization? You follow pride. You, you follow pride. We thank you. You follow pride. We take our hat off to you because this this facility is, is beautiful, and 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 I'm thinking we, we can help the city with money. Now that, that's one. That, that's, yeah, I'll that's tell you another thing. You follow okay. pride. Uh, you you're familiar with Barber Creek Landing? Uh, the boat dock on Barber Creek. Right, right. They purchased the picnic tables and stuff down okay. there with some of that money. Okay. Now let, let, let's do it like this. The city allows the fall of pride to use the greenhouse. They have to bring their own plants and everything in there. They uh, purchase their plants. Okay, they're nonprofit. They are a city organization now. They're a the fall of pride of board. They, uh, okay, they were voted by the city council. They are a board. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So it was appointed by the city council? Yeah. Okay. You, you follow pride was. No, not this And you have. What you really need to do is, is get uh, a 
remember if you call a bride a gumbo. That's what I want to, that's what I'm getting ready to tell you now. Thank you. Because I don't want to try to explain. They were here a little way. Don't fuck my guess, but, but now they're really serious. <laughs> that's what I was going to ask you is that you help me get in touch <coughs> with whoever is in charge of uh, you call a pride. Maybe some other folks out here that don't know that. I didn't know that the city council appoint people on you call a pride. Well, they don't appoint the people. The mayor makes the appointments of the people. Okay. They have a board. Okay. And uh, you follow the pride board. And, yeah. uh, Let me tell you why. I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want to get them on Gumbo Live. Because I want them, we want to take our head off from number one. Yes. All right? And then I want all of the citizens to know how we can help them. You follow what I'm saying? And especially, if everybody loves flowers. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves flowers. I want to say this about the flowers. I got in trouble one time. When I first got there about watering these things on Sunday. And now this is my biggest, this is my biggest uh, cause right now. <laughs> Y'all got me on these flowers. But listen, okay. so let's talk about you follow the practice. time and effort into it. If we didn't water once 110 right. degrees. Right, right. I got you. In a row, they would just die. Yeah, y'all explain all that to me. But listen, so so you're going to help me get in touch with you follow the practice. Yes. So that we can take our hat off to them, number one. Mm -hmm. And then number two, when they have their plant sale, we can we can, we can can put the word out because everything is coming back to the city. Right. Yeah, now, now you're back to this here. When the money is coming back to the city, is it coming back to your department or is it given to the city treasurer to be no, used? No, 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 they have the money in an account set up to follow pride, and we meet once a month. And let's say I say I need, for instance, a trash can to put in front of the trail. They'll load on every grade. Or big benches for downtown or whatever. But we discuss. They just, they bought the urns around the fountain. Mm -hmm. They purchased those. Okay. Okay, now, so now, now you, you told me something different. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Now, well, I need to I follow need to pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. right. And, and the question I got for you, follow the pride. Whoever's well, in charge, you follow the pride. LC Green is looking for you to put you on Gumbo Live. So you get in touch with me, I'm going to be trying to get in touch with you. And one of the things I want to, I want to understand, I want to understand this. That when we say we're giving money back to the city. But I also want to point out how much money we're saving. Okay. Um, this is a flat, 36 flowers. 36. Okay. Okay. This flat would cost probably $12, maybe $10 wholesale. Okay. If you were to buy it anywhere else. Okay. Well, let's grow on these plants itself. But this plant is costing at the most $2.50. Okay. So, 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 we're saving you are saving, you are making, you are making the city look good and also saving money doing it. Yes. All right. And, and again, again, I want, I want to, I want to get to this ball of pride. Anything that's going to make our city look good, I think we'll let the people know. And one of the things I found out since I've been doing Gumbo Live, and, 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 and you, you've told me a lot of things, there are so many things going on in this city. There are so many different projects that people are doing that the, the, the average citizen is not aware of. And I think that's a shame. I, I think it's a shame that, 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 and I may be the only one who didn't know about you call a pride. I, 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 I grant you that, listeners, I might be the only one who didn't know about it. But, but uh, I'm going to make sure if there's anybody else out there like me that don't know, we're going to let them know. Well, I'll tell you another organization you need to know about. Okay. There's an organization called Trees to Follow. Trees. Trees to Follow. We, that's what we talked about last time. They uh, are the ones that sell these granite markers, you see, around trees. Right. And remember, they sell these markers. And the, the money that they make off the markers goes to buy trees for the city. Okay. They purchased every tree along the street. So, uh, so all the beautification There's that we got here at you follow technically does not cost the city. Not all of it. I'm saying we did purchase trees and we, we plant the flowers and we grow the flowers. Um, but there's a lot of other people out there that help us. Okay? And I, 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 again, I, I mean, we got to keep the grass cut. we got to plant the flowers and water the flowers. I'm going to take my glass out so y'all can see me. <laughs> so when you see me somewhere, I probably ain't gonna have my glasses on. Sometimes people can't recognize you. But I'm looking for you. You follow pride. You follow tree folks. I'm looking for you. Because I want to make this city aware of what we got. You follow what I'm saying? Yes. When something bad happened, everybody knows. But now we need to let the folks know about some of these good things that's going on. 
that, that, that making the city, not only making it beautiful, making it attractive, the most beautiful. If somebody passed through this city and they see how beautiful it is, they're going to tell somebody else. That's right. And then people are getting ready to retire. They're getting ready to leave the, the, the mass city, the, the rush of the city. And they say, you know, I saw this pretty, this pretty town. And you know, Jafala was mentioned as one of the top 100 places to retire. Really? Yes, it's in the book. So, so, so all of us, all of us can do something to help this city look good. Uh, we can buy these plants. We can buy these. Not, not. Let me ask you this here. Let me ask you this here. You can report when we got a couple people that steal our plants over flower boxes. I didn't do it. <laughs> well, is they, that right? They weren't perfect. Well, it's because they're all the steel. Yeah, they weren't. Now, you got some purple ones missing. Come out of my house and take a look. But look, look. How often? How often? Let me tell you what I got in my mind. You said about the, uh, people coming in with their own stuff. How often do you, your, your department, have flowers? Is, 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 is there ever going to be a time when there are no flowers in here? Well, um, after these, we've got. These are annuals, okay? They're going to go in the ground and they'll stay on the ground until fall. And then we'll plant the winter plant. Or we'll plant the bombs for uh, Indian summer. But after these, we've got perennials coming. And the perennials come back every year. Their flowers come back every year. And we still haven't landscaped this place. So after that, there'll come a wave of uh, perennials. Okay, okay, now. And I'm then, out the window, since you said that. So you mean you're going to plant a bunch of flowers out there? There's going to be a rose bed and all kinds of things. Okay. Now how soon before? Uh, they're they're just this big. So when we move these out, they'll be coming in here. They're in the other greenhouse. Right okay. Now. No, where's the other greenhouse? It's over at the street park. Okay. Okay. But it's not as accessible to people as this place. No, is. it's not as accessible. There's a lot of traffic coming okay. in and out. Okay. Two yeah. things. Two things. I'm, I'm gonna go back to my original question. Is there ever a time when this greenhouse will not have any flowers? There's gonna be a time where we don't have as many plants. But that's when I plan on having the classroom, when I have students in and let them plant stuff. Okay. So when 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 do I would say in two months. Which call do you follow? Duplication follow, whatever you call pride. You follow pride. When when will they have access to these tables? Uh they'll probably use the other greenhouse if they do it. Oh, okay. So, so, so they don't use this thing. This is the first batch of flowers. We don't have enough room. This always flowers, it's just enough space to do. Okay. Yes. So 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 now, so this and greenhouse this is in use, greenhouse and the other one is in use too. Yes. So we got two greenhouses in use at the same time. Yes. This greenhouse was a grant for a teaching greenhouse. Okay. So after I get these flowers, like I said, this is the first one for the city, and this is the first run to make sure it's operating correctly, mm -hmm. and then we'll start doing some classes again. We'll yeah. have classes in and out, okay. in and out. That's what you think. I want you to do two things for you. Do, 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 do people, do people that's walking the trail? No, you? they can't just come in here. It's going to okay. That's my question. Because uh, they wouldn't be any power here at night. All right. So, 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 okay, what are the hours of this that somebody can come in? They, it, it's open when they call me. And then we will all be working with the schools to set a field trip. Okay, let's back up with you. If I'm just, we got, we got a large viewing audience, and as you know, mm -hmm. I know you've been, you've been telling me about since you've been on. So people now, we, we got the greenhouse on TV, we got it on YouTube, and we got it everywhere else we can put it. But we need to make it clear that if you're just walking the trail, and you want to come in the greenhouse to see, and, and it's something to see besides the flowers. You see how everything operates. This is going to be good when you bring right, the students but in here. I mean, but, but, but not to be fair. This is going to be good when you bring the students in here. But what we need to tell the, those walk, you just can't walk in here at any time. No, because there's too much equipment, very expensive equipment in here, and we just can't leave it open. Okay. It's too valuable. And, uh, but, but if somebody, now, let's, now, now tell me if, if we need a certain number, but if somebody want to come and they call you, you will make it available to them. Mm -hmm. Now, how many people, if just me and Mark want to come in? That's fine. So two, two can come. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you'll make it available for two of us if we call you. Right. And, uh, and if you don't come yourself, you'll send somebody from your right. department. Right. You follow the small town. Look, the town. Look, look, look at that cap. And uh, tell us again. If, if two of us want to come and we call Sherry, we'll make an appointment to come. All right. 
But uh, an easy way to do it is you can go to the city site, go to the horticulture department, and my phone number and my email. It's on there. On the All website. right. Now, the next thing I want to tell you, we've been talking about the work here. Tell us where we are located here. Tell, give, 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 give up a view on the audience an idea of where we are. I know we're next to the, to the walking trail. Which, 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 but 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 uh, you can see it, and you'll know what it is when you see it. So we are uh, on North Broad Street, next to the fitness place. Okay, what's this fitness place? I don't know. Right before you get to the easy, library. The easy pay. Okay, it's close to my office. My office is located in the bread. <laughs> it's close to my office, and 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 I and I hope that I hope that the schools do have field trips. Well, I mean, we we just got this place up the road. up in the good Okay. My guys put this together themselves. They had every piece of metal and everything. Oh, we yeah. saved the money and hiring somebody to do it by doing that also. Your department did all of it. They put it all together themselves with the help, with the help of city electricity. Sure, sure. And um, so it's just operation. So now we've got to organize and start working on the class. I have to I have to finish the grant first. I have to get the outdoor class first. Yeah. So as soon as all of that, so we're not yeah. quite ready for the Get all we working on the class. Uh, are we working on the classroom now? Did you say we're coming? Well, what we've got to do is figure out how much we spent so far on the greenhouse. I have to get the labor and all that together and see what's left. And then I know how much I can spend on the other thing. I have so much ground on the Okay, so all right. Like I said, right. you're asking some questions that we're not ready for yet. All right, all right. But now, now again, I, I want to tell folks that this is, this is beautiful to come look at, especially if you like flowers. But now, but now, they help me understand. These flowers won't be as much on. You're taking these flowers and plant them. Yeah, they're ready. The flowers we planted last October, mm -hmm. they're annuals. And they're in the flower uh, sidewalk beds and stuff. They're, they're going to die when it gets hot. So. Well, it's hot now. They don't want to die. Well, you see, they're all, all, almost out. Yeah. Look at so, them so, so all, the, all, all of these flowers are ready? This is these, these, and these. And uh, these zinnias. Now what is this called? This, this is a zinnia. A zinnia? Zinnia. Zinnia, with a Z. Yeah, they're not quite ready. Okay. And so we'll do the flower boxes first, and then the zinnias, well, these are all multicolored, will go in the sidewalk. Then I'm asking this question. What determines that they're ready to height? Uh, I see you, I see you, every time you pick one up, you look at the roots. I seen that. Because twice you picked them up, you looked at the roots. What determines that you say these are red? Is it because of the height of the roots? What, what, what determines that they are red? Well, these get too tall, but if they don't have enough good root system, when you plant them, the roots aren't going to be established enough to uh, pretty much uh, absorb the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will get too tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they have to wait until they get a good root system. Okay. Uh, before so so we, we can look at them and see how tall they are, but if the root system is not right. Professional people like you look at the roots. We, we, we look, look at, at we look at we look at the flowers. We look at the roots. All right. Because they can be tall and not hardly have any roots. Sure. And so when you start trying to put them in the ground, mm -hmm. all those little roots break off and they don't have any roots left. Okay. Now, now, is there anything you want to tell us about that I might miss? Well, just growing in cycles. Right now we're growing and get ready for what we need in the city. Mm -hmm. This is our first run, and instead of growing them all in our old greenhouse, we want to see if this cool and heat it correctly and the next step is once we get everything ready for the city, we'll start planting these. Now, these I'm things. just imagining, I've not, not been to the old green, I'm going though, <clears throat> but I'm kind of imagining that it can't compare to this. Not at all. Not at all now. It's just got the plastic over it. Okay. And uh, now it's got a heating system, a cooling system, and it's hooked up to a dosomatic, but it's very old. Okay. Now, let me do one more thing. I want to do this, and I want to do this to help you. You say that we can call you. All right? Is that Monday through Friday? Monday through Friday. All right, Monday through Friday. So if we walk in the trail on Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon, no. tell <laughs> Yeah. Everybody needs a day off. Okay. I agree with you. I just want to make, see, when, you, when you're talking to people, 
and you're telling people that we'll do this and we'll do that, you have to be very specific. Well, I you know mean, I'm I'm operation on six. Okay, so on, on a Saturday, uh, late Sunday afternoon, when you walk in the trail, we, we cannot let you inside the greenhouse. Correct. All right. Now, but now it won't be long. I'm, I'm saying this. Now, you correct me now. You correct me. It won't be long when you walk in the trail, which the trail is not very far from you. You can look over here and be able to see some pretty roses. Is that what you say? Uh, different kind of flowers. Different kind of flowers. We're going to have like said, said, flower beds. It's going to be different flower beds. beds that uh, we learn about the plant. Okay, now. To learn about roses, to okay. learn about different kinds of plants. One more time. I'm outside now. see, I'm always thinking about what's going to catch somebody out. How long before we can start sitting on flower beds outside? Uh, I can't say. A lot of what we do right now just depends on how fast the grass is growing. Okay. Because uh, you got to remember our department is not that large, and we cut the entire down. So now you know we, what, we, we have, the entire town. So, so you, we don't have nobody who just their, their whole job is just this greenhouse and to make sure that, that we got the flower beds or something like that. We don't have no assignment like that. No. So 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 you don't you don't have people that you can assign certain areas. So you know, you we don't have that many people. for the whole city. Uh, now 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 when you when you do your annual budget. Are you proposing to make a, a, a stop for one more person? Well, uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll get a couple of summer hires. Yes. We help out from the high school. We hire yes. some students. Okay. So that's now, what we wait on. Okay. Because yes. in the winter, that's when we need to do the other kind of project. Okay. So, 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 the summer high. Well, yeah, is I your project going to be the, the flower? I, I, I want to see I some can't. flowers out there. Well, it's going to take time, and you can't. Give days in my business. You don't know when there's going to be storms. You don't know when there's going to rain and the grass is going to come up. Okay. You don't know when there's a dead tree we got to go cut down. Okay. We can't give days like that because okay. our our stuff is based on seasons. All right. Now this is what this is what I want my audience. It's not based on Thursday morning and bread last week. I want my listeners to do this. I want us to pray for no storms, no fallen trees. Grass don't get too high, so that we can see some flowers out well, here. Well, the grass is growing like crazy right now. Well, we're gonna pray that it's slow down. So we want some flowers out here outside. There's nothing more beautiful than flowers. Flowers outside the greenhouse, that, that seems like well, that's, 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 that's gonna be part of it. Okay. I mean, it's part of the plan. All right. It, uh, it's part of the plan, but like I said, we've got, this is just one, many things that we're going to part Right, right. Now, to, to, okay, I'm glad you said, give, give us another idea of something. Okay, we, all the roses downtown, these uh, knockouts by the courthouse and all that, we just, they were full blown for the building. We just had to go with that and all to make them all come back again. Now what's the idea? Cutting off the old buttons. I mean, we maintain all the medians, the historic cemetery, another cemetery, the trail, the chamber of conference, we got the police station, we got the downtown, all 431, cut up Broad Street, all the meetings are broad, and uh, we take care of all the trees, the mulch the trees, we keep the trees in downtown, we eat it, we weed the flowers. Is there any, is there any volunteer organization that could help you in the department? Uh, you call the Okay, all right. You, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Anything else you'd like to tell us? No, you're good. You're not as fun as you were last night. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'm enjoying myself. Mark, you got, you got a chance to get these flowers. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we gonna uh, try to get the camera to capture the beauty uh, of these flowers, number one, and try to give you an idea of all this stuff that's in here to make this thing uh, uh, work so well. Sherry, I want to thank you again. Well, thank you. Uh, I want to thank you again. And, uh, we're gonna have to get together again and do something as we progress. And uh, like I said, you know, school joy will be out, and hopefully when they come back, we'll, we'll get something going. I mean, some other things we can do is we can grow some, you know, just teach 100 grows of tomatoes. Something like that. The other things that you can grow in the off-season. Okay. Yeah. Now, another thing. I'm, I'm going to try to grow a 1,500 plant. Is that right? All right. And if you work on the park. Okay. Okay. Another thing I want, I want, I want you to look at the camera and see is that real soon, 
we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take the camel and we're gonna go down that trail. But we're gonna do it in your golf cart. Okay. That, that we're gonna do it. We'll see. We're gonna we'll take the golf cart down All the trail. Right. All right. So we're gonna we I really wanna take the camel. Because uh, you don't want to walk. There you go. There you go. You smart. Listen, we're gonna take the camera real soon down the trail, and we're gonna we're gonna have Miss Sherry there to tell us what what we're seeing and what we're looking at as, as we ride back. And uh, and if, again, I tell you, if any of y'all got any suggestions for Gumbo Live or uh, program you think that you might want us to do or uh, something that you might want us to bring somebody in to talk about. Uh, just drop out a bread basket and just drop it off. Just write it down, drop it off. If you don't want to write it down, just tell Tony. Go to the bread basket and ask for Tony. And say, Tony, see, can you get Gumbo Live to do so and so? We'll be glad to, if it's humanly possible, we, 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 we're going to do that. Sherry, again, I thank you. Thank and you. I, I know you're very busy, but you took the time. And I really enjoyed this one. I, I really, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this. It's a fun thing to watch these plants grow. And with all the fertilizer and stuff, I mean, it's just amazing. And you can see these can get ready to flower, too. Sure. And you wouldn't think, you wouldn't think that coming in a greenhouse, you can get excited. But I get excited about all this different technology that's in here. And everything is, is timed just right, and everything works just right. So anyway, you've been watching, you've been watching Gumbo Live. We're here at downtown Eufaula, or at the greenhouse, very, Beautiful greenhouse, and we're gonna keep our eye on it. And there's something that things different things develop. We're gonna come right back here. Miss Sherry's gonna be with us, and we're gonna keep you informed. You've been watching Gumbo Live every Thursday night on channel 97, and also we on YouTube. No, no, no. Wait. We're on YouTube. Yeah, we're on YouTube. And, and, and if you don't have the box, if you don't have the box, you can get you can get us on your flat screen TV on 115.5. Somebody told me you couldn't. Try it. I guarantee it works. If you've got a flat screen, high def TV, 115.5 will get you channel 97. You've been watching Gumbo Live. Keep watching and keep giving us your comments. We thank you. Elsie Green here.